This telescope, the Webb, is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Wow. The cosmos is shrouded in mystery, but now an unprecedented new view is piercing the veil. The James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled impossible images from the edge of space and time. Just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, Webb has spotted massive galaxies that defy belief. These galactic giants shouldn't exist, yet there they are. Their mere presence shakes the foundations of cosmology. How could such enormous galaxies arise so quickly after creation? What else lurks in the observable shadows? Join us on a journey to the frontier of human knowledge. In the coming minutes, we'll explore these enigmatic megastructures through Webb's looking glass. Old theories crumble as new cosmic revelations come into focus. This is just the beginning. When the James Webb Telescope released its first images back in June 2022, we got a glimpse of SMACS 0723, a galaxy cluster about 4 billion light years from Earth within the southern constellation of Volans Deep. The deep field image showcased the wide range of the Webb's capabilities and also revealed objects that are 13.1 billion years old, galaxies to be precise. The image is brimming with tens of thousands of galaxies, including the faintest ones ever observed in the near-infrared. After a year's worth of explorations and observation, the web has unveiled galaxies and objects that seemingly shouldn't exist. The web's images take us back to a time when the universe was an infant, but through valued data, researchers have chalked out objects that were far larger and older than we'd ever expected. The objects were discovered within the first 650 million years after the Big Bang, indicating that stars and galaxies formed much earlier than previously believed. Specific areas of the sky were focused on by the James Webb Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey or JADES project, which is designed to detect infrared light. This makes it ideal for spotting extremely distant galaxies. The distance of objects in space is determined by measuring their redshift, which refers to the shift of light towards longer wavelengths. The higher the redshift, the more distant the object. Only a few dozen galaxies had been identified with redshifts greater than eight before the launch of the James Webb Telescope. The JADES project, on the other hand, unearthed a remarkable 717 galaxies that are likely to fall within this range. The process of creating a galaxy is complex and takes a long time. The universe is known to be approximately 13.8 billion years old, and the earliest galaxies ever discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope didn't form until around 350 million years after the Big Bang. It took a considerable amount of time for the initial galaxies to emerge in the early universe, and they were also of a relatively small size in comparison to contemporary galaxies, such as our Milky Way. Early galaxies were traditionally considered to be dwarf galaxies, containing about 100 million stars. This figure is significantly lower than the minimum estimate of 100 billion stars found in galaxies such as the Milky Way. But a new study in the journal, Nature, challenges this idea. The study indicates that there are at least six objects, thought to be galaxies, that date back to around 500 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies have populations of hundreds or even thousands of billions of stars. It is estimated that the largest among them has a combined mass one trillion times greater than our Sun, which is about ten times the size of the Milky Way. The discovery has surprised scientists. The co-author of the paper and an astrophysics assistant professor at the University of Colorado Boulder, Erica Nelson, referred to it as bananas and revealed that the early universe shouldn't have been able to get organized so quickly. These galaxies were expected to have needed more time to form. The Webb Telescope conducted observations of a specific area of the sky near the Big Dipper last summer. The Hubble Space Telescope previously studied this region, but Hubble primarily detects visible light while Webb operates in the infrared range. This meant that Webb offered a fresh take on this familiar cosmic terrain. During the course of the survey, the researchers observed an intriguing phenomenon, 
Among the otherwise unexceptional background image, they observed six distinct and luminous patches of light that were characterized by a vivid red hue. The astronomers were intrigued by the hue of these objects. The red color indicates they likely formed 13.3 billion years ago. This suggests they are distant galaxies, not individual stars or supernovas. Initially, scientists suspected an optical illusion was at play, that gravitational lensing may have exaggerated the object's size. Einstein's theory predicts foreground objects can warp light from distant ones through their gravity, magnifying their apparent size. But further examination of the full image showed no foreground objects that could account for the six bright galaxies' shapes and dimensions. Their scale appears legitimate. The earliest universe was lacking the heavier elements essential for star formation, with hydrogen and helium being the primary elements. The emergence of such massive galaxies suggests the presence of heavier elements far beyond what was previously thought. So. What did the scientists really find? Here's what they discovered. Despite its appearance as a blurred red blob, this object holds the current record for being the most distant known entity in the universe. The galaxy, named Jade's GSZ-130, was found by the James Webb Space Telescope in late 2022. Its starlight, has been analyzed and shown to have a redshift of 13.2. This means that we're observing it in the same state it was in just 320 million years after the Big Bang. Although Jade's GSZ-130 is small and only a few hundred light years across, it is making new stars at a rate that is similar to our Milky Way today. This discovery is surprising to scientists because they previously believed that the earliest galaxies formed gradually as stars ignited and merged together. Jade's GSZ 130's presence shows early galaxies had intense star formation. The University of Arizona astronomer Kevin Heinlein believes that these galaxies serve as the fundamental building blocks of structure in the universe. The capabilities of Webb have enabled astronomers to conduct extensive research on such galaxies, revealing their widespread existence. Scientists believe that the peculiar object resembling a dog bone is likely at a redshift of 11.3, although further confirmation is needed. If confirmed, it would indicate that we are observing the object as it appeared approximately 400 million years after the Big Bang. The discovery of Webb has revealed greater structural complexity in the early stages of the universe than anticipated. This appears to be two smaller galaxies merging. The stars had already formed and clustered into galaxies by 400 million years after the Big Bang, with two of these galaxies colliding and merging. Before the James Webb, scientists underestimated the activity in the early universe. The findings have been surprising and have gone against what people had previously thought. Kevin Hainlein said that he was really surprised, revealing that he was unaware of the existence of such a diverse array of objects in the gathered data. This galaxy, commonly referred to as GNZ-11, is distinguished by its redshift of 10.6, which is a mere 430 million years after the Big Bang. The Hubble telescope initially observed GNZ-11, but the Webb telescope has since revealed it to be a remarkably compact and bright sphere. The pronounced brightness may be attributed to a substantial black hole located at its core, surrounded by a swirling superheated gas and dust. More research by the telescope shows that GNZ-11 might have some of the earliest stars ever made in the universe. The evidence comes from the existence of unique pockets of primordial helium gas at the edges of the galaxy, though its exact location remains a mystery. The first stars were composed of hydrogen and helium, with few other chemical elements, in the early stages of the universe. The possibility of Webb spotting these elements within GNZ-11 would fulfill the long-held dream of astronomers to observe these early stars in their entirety. This spherical galaxy is located at a redshift of 8, which suggests that it formed approximately 
300 million years after the oldest one, 600 million years, to be precise. The existence of its spongy structure suggests that the preceding 300 million years were full of significant occurrences and advancements. To illustrate the scale of the universe's history, imagine combining its 13.8 billion years into a two-hour film. The first five minutes of this film would establish the foundation for everything that follows, highlighting the early galaxies that the James Webb Space Telescope is now discovering. The immense expanse of this galaxy, measuring around 3.7 kiloparsecs or 12,000 light years, serves as proof that the cosmos has been constantly evolving since its inception. The discovery of this small galaxy, which was seen about 700 million years after the Big Bang, has shown a pattern of star formation that was unexpected. It is surprising to note that a more considerable number of stars are being formed in the outer regions of the galaxy, rather than at its center. Sandro Tachella, an astrophysicist at the University of Cambridge in the UK, emphasizes the significance of this discovery, stating that it is the first time that such inside-out growth has been quantified during the initial stages of the universe. The evidence challenges the theoretical notion that early galaxies would see the majority of star formation occurring in their central region. It's fascinating that this particular galaxy showed rapid star formation right from the start, producing a similar number of stars in its compact core as larger galaxies do today. Accordingly, the galaxy began to shift its star, forming activity towards its outer region. This transition marks an important turning point that celestial enthusiasts are eager to explore further. The Jades team spotted this captivating collection of dusty and red galaxies, which earned the affectionate nickname the Cosmic Rose. Stacy Alberts, an astronomer at the University of Arizona, comments, It has a special place in the team's heart, science-wise. It's a beautiful demonstration of Webb's leap forward in understanding how red the universe is. The cosmic rose galaxies are likely not physically linked, as they are at varying distances, with red shifts ranging from 2.5 to 3.9. But these values put them in the middle of what is called cosmic noon, this period occurred approximately 3 billion years after the Big Bang, when galaxies were forming stars at an incredibly rapid and intense rate. This led to the creation of most of the stars present in the universe today. Nelson continues saying, You shouldn't have had time to make things that have as many stars as the Milky Way that fast. Our galaxy contains about 60 billion suns worth of stars, and it's had well over 13 billion years to grow them. It's just crazy that these things seem to exist. Why it's so intriguing is because the formation of galaxies was expected to happen gradually, with smaller structures merging with time to create larger ones. According to established cosmological theory, the emergence of massive galaxies in the early stages of their formation challenges this notion hinting at the existence of an alternative, unexplored mechanism that speeds up the formation of galaxy. One possible explanation, proposed by Ivo Labe of the Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia, is a fast tracks pathway creates these massive galaxies. This suggests that there could be a different mechanism behind their emergence. The University of Hertfordshire's Emma Curtis Lake suggests a different explanation. Some of these galaxies may host supermassive black holes at their centers. It is possible that the light that appears to come from stars originates from the gas and dust consumed by these black holes. Curtis Lake argues that Webb has already detected a potential candidate for an active supermassive black hole even earlier in the history of the universe than the galaxies under study, rendering it a plausible scenario. While the existence of numerous supermassive black holes during this early era presents its own challenges. It wouldn't require a complete revision of the standard cosmological model, unlike the implications of the extra-massive galaxies. Curtis Lake argues that comprehending the formation and expansion of black holes during these early periods remains a significant challenge. It does not contradict cosmology, 
but it does require a more in-depth understanding of the physics involved in their formation and growth, which has been limited by the lack of data until now. To determine the true nature of these distant objects, astronomers need to confirm the distances and masses of the galaxies using spectra, which provide more precise measurements of their light across various wavelengths. Author Erica Nelson further reveals in a statement, if even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. The fact that we don't know for sure if these galaxies exist has important implications. The region of the sky where these objects are located will undoubtedly be thoroughly examined through additional observation. Every year, the James Webb Space Telescope receives a significant number of requests for observation time, but due to limitations, only a small percentage of these requests are approved. The preliminary study's findings about the structure and radiation spectrum of these galaxies may be based on wrong assumptions. It is plausible that these galaxies may actually possess a significantly lower mass than initially anticipated, which aligns their masses with the existing theoretical understanding. Another possible explanation for this contradiction is that these objects may not fit the conventional understanding of galaxies. They could be new entities aligning with modern cosmology. Nonetheless, among the approved studies, it is highly likely that some will involve the use of Webb's near-infrared spectrograph. The data it collects can be extremely useful in determining the temperature, mass, and chemical makeup of the objects being studied. If the six candidate galaxies are indeed genuine, then near Spex's analysis should confirm their existence. This confirmation would significantly improve our understanding of the speed at which large and mature galaxies can develop and form. Regardless of their true nature, Examining these objects will likely have big implications for our theories regarding the evolution of stars, galaxies, and potentially the entire universe. We might need to drastically change our understanding of what happened right after the Big Bang. So, what do you think? Are these six candidate galaxies really what they seem to be? Are they optical anomalies? Or are they something entirely new? Tell us in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.